Hello world. I'm here today to talk to you about development tools. Over my seven-ish years of coding, I've changed up my development tools quite a bit. I've gone from using super powerful IDEs like the whole JetBrains family to text editors. But I'm here today because I think I have discovered my one true love when it comes to development tools that I don't think I'm ever going to stray from, but I won't say that so definitively. And I want to talk about that tool today. My goal out of this is that no matter what kind of setup you do, you become maybe more aware of the options that you have when it comes to developing and finding your perfect workflow setup. So let me start off by talking about one of the best tools that I have ever used as a software developer and that is books. I recently read The Pragmatic Programmer by Andrew Hunt and David Thomas. It opened my mind up to some thoughts about GUI environments for coding, specifically IDEs. I'll post the quotes in the description below, but in a nutshell, they had these thoughts about GUIs. All of these opinions reminded me of the days when I used to use an IDE, and I remember when I began programming, I didn't know there was any other way to program. So when I started working as a software developer, I was using one of the JetBrains IDEs. I used it with a Vim plugin because I liked how quickly it allowed me to navigate a text file. I had my terminal open with the panes I needed, namely the local servers I needed, and an empty one for doing other terminal things. And then I had my IDE. The main features I used were shift shift to look for files, command shift F for looking for strings within files, and then debugging was a bit more cumbersome to set up but I had that going too. And among my seemingly perfect setup, I had some qualms. The lag when I introduced the Vim plugin was not small enough to go by unnoticed. The split view for files wasn't optimized, I guess. It was a biggie for me, enough of a biggie for me to look elsewhere. Having to use my mouse to click and navigate between files, it just didn't feel the most productive and efficient. Upon doing some research on this in the current day though, I realized that you can do everything in an IDE that you can do in a terminal setup. But for the purpose of this video, I'll still go on with why I prefer the terminal setup. So from the influence of others who purely used a terminal, they lured me in by that gorgeous split view and split view navigation. <laughs> I started off by identifying the things I needed in my dev environment, which were synonymous with the things I liked in my IDE. And those are, but not limited to these things. I'll go through them quickly. Fuzzy search by file, fuzzy search by string, file navigation tree, git diff in the sidebar and debugging. So I started looking for plugins. I got some recommendations and my significant other showed me which plugins were gonna give me exactly what I needed that I could add to my VimRC to simulate the exact behavior. He also showed me the shortcuts he had set up to be able to do things very quickly. For example, my leader key is comma, so comma V and comma S for splitting the screen just comes super naturally to me now. Control HJKL for navigating among the panes and like command shift enter for full screening whatever terminal you were on at the time. It's honestly basic stuff, but to me, it was beautiful. <laughs> if you want my full VimRC, although it is nothing special and nothing but a starting point, I'd say, I'll link that down below. Some notable plugins that I use every day are Control P and Fuzzy Find. I think those are essential. There was a pretty steep learning curve to going full terminal, but once I did, it was so beautiful and wonderful and my development process feels like it was tenfold more efficient. Now I have my local servers, console, extra terminal, and my Vim right beside it. I just love that it's a minimal setup, but I feel like I have full control. I can press command shift enter whenever I want to maximize a certain pane. I can navigate between panes seamlessly. I rarely ever have to lift a finger. I also want to give a shout out to macros. They have become part of my everyday workflow. They're not terminal specific, but I felt it has sped up my development process so much. I use them all the time. Can't say enough good things about that. Getting comfortable with the shell has been something I feel has benefited me as a developer tremendously. And Vim, I just love Vim. I had to give my little guy Vim a shout out. I want to give a disclaimer though that I haven't experimented that much. I haven't tried Emacs. I look up how to do things in Vim 
all the time. Some notable ones I've learned and most use are to yank into the system register uh, via this command and search and replace. I also want to say that I am not at all a shell expert. I literally do the things that I need to do and sometimes I still do things the inefficient way if I'm too lazy to look it up or it'll take too long. And yes, I'm in a different outfit. This is a different day. My camera died on another day. I just stopped optimizing at the point where what I had felt acceptable to me and I still feel miles more productive than when I was using any other methods. Of course though, this is my opinion and my opinion only. This is just what works for me. Just based on my experience, if you're up for a challenge and your project might not be that demanding, I really encourage you to try out going IDE free for a little bit. I can guarantee that you'll learn something valuable and it'll make you a better developer just for having done it and tried it. You can exercise your creativity, set up macros to do the common tasks, and just have fun with it. Saving yourself a couple of seconds every day saves you a lot of time in the long run. When you get comfortable with the shell, the world is your oyster. Is that a pun? When you get comfortable with the shell, the world is your oyster. That kind of is a pun. Okay. So maybe give it a try and let me know how it goes. Let me know your thoughts on this, if you prefer an IDE or if you don't and why, I would love to know, I would love to have these discussions. Of course, if you have any Vim tips, those are always appreciated. I would also love to do a video on Vim showing you the minimal things that I like to do with it, but that can be for another day. Yeah, that's all I have for today, so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, bye.